welcome to a 2020 video. I know, right? It's about time. I have honestly been wanting to make these videos just as much as I know you have been waiting for them. And I'm so excited that I do have a bunch of 2020 content coming in the next couple of weeks. And if there is anything that you would like me to talk about in particular, then please just leave any suggestions or anything in the comment section down below. Today's video is all about being productive in 2020. And before I get into the things that I want to talk about, I want to make a point that I actually really don't like the pressure that social media puts on people to be busy all the time and to get things done all the time. So I know that this video from the outside first glance does make it seem like I'm putting that pressure on you and I know my videos in general can sometimes feel like they're putting that pressure on you but that's not what I want at all. In fact one of the points that I wanted to talk about today which I think is also the most important point is the complete opposite of being productive but it's absolutely essential in creating balance in your life and allowing you to be productive when you actually need to be. This is not a video where I'm telling you to go and go and go all the time because that's just not possible. So I hope you guys enjoy it and you take some sort of inspiration from this and let's get started. The first thing that I find that I need to keep myself on track is some sort of like organizational system, calendars, diaries, journals, all of that. You can do it digitally or you can do it with pen and paper. It's entirely up to you. I like to use a combination of both. So uh, in the digital realm, my favorite app is Google Calendar. I have been using this for about a year now and it's just the best way that I can keep my life organized, mostly because it's in my phone. So whenever I'm out and about and something comes up, an appointment or a meeting with a friend or something with a specific time, I can put it straight into my phone straight away. That way I'm not going to forget it. I don't have to pull out like a diary or a notebook or carry a diary with me constantly because I've had times where I've been caught out when I had my paper diary. So having the digital version just means it's with me all the time and I'm able to uh, put in appointments and things straight away. My pen and paper stuff usually involves my to-do lists. I personally love writing my to-do lists by hand. I have a lot of uh, notebooks and I also journal as well, which helps get a lot of my thoughts out so I can keep track of everything. And I am looking at getting a new weekly uh, planner. I'm not really sure what it is that I want, but I have had a look online. In the next couple of weeks, I will be doing a bit of like a stationary shop. So if that is something that you guys would like to see as well, do let me know. But I do think it is really, really important to have some sort of calendar or organizational system so that you can see in advance what you're doing that week or for the next month. And I find that then once you have all of those important things put in, you can start building your time around those. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I feel is quite important is to not underestimate the time that it takes to do things and don't overextend yourself. This is something I tend to do and I, it's, I've been working on it over the last year trying to change this about myself because what I would do is I'd plan out an entire day and it's just not possible to achieve all of the things that I wanted to in that day and then I'm left feeling defeated, feeling like I've failed and it pushes me away from actually wanting to work anyway. So be realistic about the time you set yourself to do tasks. Like for example, cleaning your house, don't say that you're gonna clean your entire house in half an hour on a Saturday morning because realistically, that's probably not going to happen. Set yourself an appropriate amount of time, a couple of hours, depending on how large your house is because again, you just don't wanna slip out of that mindset into something a little bit more negative that pushes you to procrastinate and avoid doing work. So just be realistic with the time that it takes you to do things. The third thing that I think is really important that sets you up for the day is to create a consistent morning routine. And this can just be the little things that you do every morning. The first thing that I do every single day is I make a coffee. And as simple as it is making a coffee, it's just consistent. It means that my morning is being set up the same way. And once you start having this consistency, it just makes it so much easier to get up, get through your morning and set yourself up for a day. When your morning is jumping and changing and always different, you're taking way much more of your energy and your brain capacity to get through your morning than if things were just sort of already natural habits to you. And then you're going to be taking away from what you're able to achieve for the rest of the day. So get yourself a morning routine if you have not done so and just try to build a little bit more consistency in your day-to-day -day life. The fourth point, which is the absolute most important point that I was talking about earlier in this video, is to switch off 
and let yourself get bored. You need to step away from life's responsibilities and take a step back. If that means that your house is entirely messy for a week, then so be it. You need a break. You cannot keep going and going and going because if you do, then you end up like me and you end up burnt out and then it takes weeks, sometimes months to be able to get yourself back. The reason my videos have been so inconsistent lately and why I haven't done any 2020 content until now is because I completely burnt out about five weeks ago and I'm still not working at full capacity. So do not be like me, do not do this. You need to take breaks and rest because then you'll be able to create a much more balanced life and you'll have the energy to actually really get stuck in and do things when you need to do them. You cannot keep going all the time. So make sure you have those rest days or even rest weeks and just allow yourself to stop with the pressures of life and the responsibilities. Obviously there are some things that you can't just stop, but as I said, something like cleaning your house, it is allowed, you're allowed to just stop that for a few days and it's totally fine. So please don't feed into this constant pressure online of thinking that you need to be busy and perfect and on it all the time because that is not how life works. We just have to relax a little bit. And the fifth thing is something that I've been doing for the last couple of months. And if you were studying, this would be really, really helpful, but that is getting yourself like an accountability buddy. So Anna and I over the last couple of months have been checking in every week or every other week just to see how we're going with uh, our work and the things that we are trying to achieve. We give each other little deadlines and it's a way that I can stay motivated. If she's checking in on me, then it means I, I kind of have, um, the desire to want to show her something. So it has made it so much easier for me to get things done knowing that I get to show her and I get to talk about it with someone and I get a different perspective. And this is great for studying, as I said, having a study buddy where you don't have to do it alone and you have someone that can help you out and give you a bit of a different perspective and you can talk things through. It's just so much more motivating. It makes the tasks at hand so much more enjoyable. And I feel like I am just way more productive knowing that I have these scheduled in little catch-ups to keep me on track and to be able to basically keep me accountable for the work that I am doing. So those are the five habits and things that I like to do in my day-to-day -day life to make me feel more productive or at least when I am on and I'm working I am efficient and I am productive and feeling like I'm getting things done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this 2020 video and the first one of many and up the top here you can check out my last video down the bottom I will leave a link to another video and I will see you in the next one